and I'm one of the newest members of Midwest Crypto and today I'd like to take a short few minutes to talk to you about liquidity farming and how you can use small decentralized exchanges to grow your token base over time without having to buy or to sell. So you've probably heard of large exchanges like Coinbase. These are centralized exchanges. They're huge. They operate on the stock market and when you trade with them they have all the tokens that they're trading in their storage. They're physically holding huge treasure troves of tokens and that's how they allow you to trade back and forth. But when you trade with these large organizations like Coinbase, you have to pay high fees for the luxury of them holding your tokens and for the luxury of them providing all of that liquidity for free. Big centralized exchanges have their own storages to run off of. But how will the decentralized exchange work? How does an exchange operate when there's no big group running it and providing the liquidity for trading? Well, in those circumstances, the liquidity is provided by regular people like you and I. We supply our cryptocurrency to them. They effectively hold it like an IOU. And for allowing them to hold our cryptocurrency and use it for their exchange, they pay us back a portion of their fees. And I'll pull up some MS Paint here and we can see a little bit more closely how they operate and how we can make money off of them. So now we have an impressive Microsoft Paint diagram that I'm going to use to show you guys pretty quickly and easily how the whole exchange works. So this is you. You have some Bitcoin and some Ethereum and you'd like to make some more Bitcoin and some more Ethereum. So you find a DeFi exchange. It could be Uniswap or any other large one and you give it some Bitcoin and you give it some Ethereum. Now you have to give it both tokens at once. So we'd be giving it, let's say $500 of Bitcoin and $500 of Ethereum. So the exchange takes it and it gives us back Bitcoin slash Ethereum LP tokens. LP stands for liquidity pool. And what that means is that we have tokens that we can redeem for Bitcoin and Ethereum on this exchange. Okay. So now they have our Bitcoin and Ethereum and we have proof of our investment. So some other traders come around and they want to use this exchange to buy Bitcoin or buy Ethereum or sell Bitcoin or sell Ethereum. And they do that. The exchange makes a trade and they pay some fees to the exchange. Now, some of the fees go to the exchange as the exchange needs money to keep operating. But another portion of the fees is split among the LP token holders. Everyone who owns a share of that liquidity pool gets a portion of those fees back. And those fees are given back to you in the same tokens that you put in. So if you put in Bitcoin and Ethereum, your Bitcoin Ethereum LP will slowly or not slowly, depending on market conditions, generate more Bitcoin and more Ethereum over time. So by doing this, you allow decentralized exchanges to continue to support anonymous finance over the internet and anonymous token trading, and you get a tidy reward in advance. Now, early on, if you're just getting started with liquidity pooling, I would highly recommend starting with big tokens. Because if you use, let's say, two small caps or two shit coins, as we like to less politely call them, then there's a chance that those tokens will lose value over time. So the tokens you put in are still those tokens and they're still susceptible to the market. So make sure you're confident in the tokens that you're making into LPs. So the best benefit of liquidity farming is that it pays you back in the tokens that you invested. So it's a great way to grow a certain token over time if you have a moon bag. If the market is down and you wanna keep your money somewhere safe and just have it build up and up, let's say you love Matic, you love Ethereum, get some Matic Ethereum LPs and then when they all go up in value, you'll have 30 or 40% more tokens than you originally did when you invested. And that's the power of liquidity farming. And as long as you stick with large token pairs and stay away from shit coins, you're guaranteed to make some pretty good returns. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you. If you're interested in seeing more content like this, please like and subscribe so we can get to you as soon as it comes out. And if you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We read all the comments and it's always nice to hear from you.